Hello viewers, if your car's idle is hunting, your throttle feels weird, or your shifting is suddenly harsher than usual, there is a good chance your throttle position sensor needs a reset. Today I'll walk you through exactly what the TPS does, the symptoms of a bad calibration, and three different ways to reset it, depending on what vehicle you have. Stick around, because your car might only need a two minute fix. Before we dive into several common methods, let's briefly explain when you usually need to reset the throttle body sensor. One situation is when you have cleaned the throttle body. Also, if you have replaced the throttle position sensor, it'll probably need a reset to calibrate its end positions. Sometimes, suppose the battery was disconnected for a long time. In that case, this may offset the vehicle's parameters and you might need to reset the throttle position sensor. Obviously, if your car's idle is going up and down, or it doesn't respond smoothly, resetting the TPS might solve the problem. And lastly, if you have flushed or updated the ECU. Basically, suppose you haven't touched anything recently, but your car is idling rough. In that case, a TPS reset is a free first step to try before buying any parts. The first method to try is a simple K-on, K-off reset, which works on a surprising number of vehicles. Here's what to do. Turn the key to the on position, but don't start the engine. Slowly press the gas pedal all the way down. Then, slowly release it back up. Now turn the key off and wait 10 seconds. What this does is force the ECU to relearn the minimum and maximum voltage values from the TPS. You'll know it worked if, when you start the car, the idle stabilizes within a few seconds. Some cars like Nissan, Infiniti, Toyota and most GM drive-by wire system use a more detailed relearn procedure, kind of like entering a cheat code. Here's a common one. Start by turning the key to off position and leaving it like that for 10 seconds. Then turn the key to on position and leave it for 3 seconds. Fully press and release the throttle pedal 5 times within 5 seconds. Then wait 7 seconds. And finally press and hold the pedal down for 10 seconds. At this point the check engine light usually begins to blink. This tells your ECU is in diagnostic mode. Finally release the pedal and after another 10 seconds start the engine. This sequence teaches the ECU the closed and wide open throttle values. Again, if the idle settles and throttle response improves, you're good. If the K-on, K-off method hasn't done the trick, the next thing you can try is to force a hard ECU reset by disconnecting the battery. Here's how's this done. First off, disconnect the negative battery cable. Then press the brake pedal for 10 to 15 seconds. This drains any remaining power. Reconnect the battery and start the car without touching the throttle. Let it idle for 5 to 10 minutes while the ECU relearns idle and throttle positions. This battery disconnection trick is easy to do, but it has one downside. Your car will forget all saved settings, such as preset seat positions or stereo settings, and you'll have to redo them after reconnecting the battery. Also, if your head unit has a code, make sure to have it as you'll have to enter it after the reset is done. While the two previous methods tend to work on a bit older cars, modern vehicles usually require a scan tool for resetting the throttle position sensor. The procedure is simple, assuming you have the right device. Cheap OBD readers won't do the trick here. Instead, you'll need a more powerful, so-called bi-directional scan tool, which has a throttle learn, idle relearn or TPS reset option. What you do here is the following. 
plugging the scan tool into the vehicle's diagnostic socket, which is usually located under the steering wheel. With the diagnostic tool up and running, select your make and model. Navigate through the menus until you've found the ECU or powertrain and then select special functions. Within this menu, find an idle relearn or similarly named feature, run it and let the diagnostics do its thing. The ECU automatically sweeps the throttle plate and stores the correct range. Once completed, disconnect the scan tool and turn on the engine, which should now be idling steady. In fact, this is most reliable and many times the only viable way to reset the throttle position sensor in vehicles from about 2010 onward. Before we continue, let me know in the comments which of these methods worked on your car and don't forget to write the make and model. Now the following question is, why does the throttle position sensor need to be reset in the first place? The throttle body controls how much air is going into the engine, which ultimately determines its speed. This is done by a plate inside it, which opens up when you hit the throttle and closes when you release it. The car's ECU, however, must know exactly how much the throttle plate is opened to correctly adjust the air-fuel mixture for optimum performance. And that's where the throttle position sensor comes into play. It tells the ECU at which angle the throttle plate is at any given moment. The problems start when sensor's readings become slightly off for one reason or another. For instance, it may be telling the ECU the plate is slightly open when it's almost fully closed, causing bad idle or even stalling. Or it could be showing the plate at a different angle than it actually is, which usually results in poor throttle response and overall drivability issues. By resetting the throttle position sensor, you are forcing it to relearn its end positions and anything in between. This ensures steady idle, smooth throttle response and improves the engine's performance. Lastly, what if the TPS reset hasn't solved the problem? Well, in that case, you're going to have to dig deeper into it and do some additional work. One thing I'd suggest is cleaning the throttle body. It might be dirty, covered in carbon buildup from the inside, which prevents it from operating smoothly. The procedure is simple. Unplug the wiring connector, undo the bolts that hold the throttle body in place, and remove it from the engine bay. Spray the throttle body's internal surfaces with carb cleaner. Several short bursts should be enough. For stubborn buildups, you can use an old toothbrush. Make sure the edge where the throttle plate sits is absolutely clean. Let it dry for 10 or 15 minutes and then refit everything back. Fire up the car and perform a TPS reset if needed. In fact, we have a separate, detailed video on how to clean the throttle body where the whole procedure is explained step by step. Other issues that can cause stalling and rough idle include vacuum leaks, fouled spark plugs and bad coils, so these are some of the things you can also check. So there you have it, that's how you can reset the throttle body sensor and stop the engine from acting up. If one of these methods has helped you, make sure to hit that like button and share this video with your friends. On the other hand, if you're having some different issues with your vehicle, check out other videos here on this channel or visit our site, mechanicbase.com, for more detailed repair guides. Bye!